fellow beauty finders, this is Matthias Allen. So for those of you guys who are brand new to my channel, I am so excited that you are here. Every single week on Find the Beauty, I bring you pro makeup artist tips, tricks, tutorials, and product reviews. I work with women of all ages, all nationalities, all skin tones, and I bring you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to make your beauty work for you. I'm here with my good friend Brooke and she's here all the way from the East Coast. Hi Brooke. Hi Matthias. I'm so glad that we got to work together. She is going to the Academy Awards so stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So I love when clients like Brooke find me online either via my website or through my YouTube channel and they hire me from across the country because they're coming to Los Angeles for a special event like the Oscars. I asked Brooke to send me pictures of what she looks like normally as well as her picture of her dress and I sent my assistant on ahead to the Bel Air Hotel where she was staying to do a full blowout on Brooke's naturally curly hair before I arrived coming straight from my previous client that I had in the morning getting Getting her ready for the Academy Awards as well. So while my assistant was starting to add the curl to her hair with a medium-sized curling iron, I applied a serum and a hydrating moisturizer to Brooke's face so that I could let that sink in while I jumped in and we got going on the curls and the wave and the volume for Brooke's hair. Now when I'm working with an assistant, I make sure that I communicate exactly how I want the curl to be placed in my client's hair. And I find out how I want the curl placed depending upon how my client wears her natural hair part. So I had already talked to Brooke and seen her pictures and we knew that the part was going to be on her left side, not her right. So we're making sure that we set the curls in that corresponding style and structure. Now, after we set the top of her hair, I go into the back and I make sure that each individual strand is set exactly how I want it. And then we're using a small duck clip to pin the curls up tight to her head to give her the most volume as the curl starts to dry. Now, how many of you out there are watching and have done this type of a hair set on yourself? This really, in my experience, is the best way to make your hair last the longest. So it's really what I've been most successful at when I want the volume and the style of the hair to stay put for at least eight or 10 hours. Now what you're seeing is me apply a cream waterproof eyeshadow all over her lid, set it with a light loose powder, and then move into the eyeshadow. So I really wanted her eyes to pop, but I knew that she wasn't going to want a really extravagant color like burgundy or forest green or navy blue. So I wanted her to feel comfortable in this look. You know, when I'm talking to my clients and I do a consultation with them over the phone, I always find out what kind of makeup are you used to wearing? Are you used to wearing warm colors, cool colors? What things are you married to? What are you not married to? You know, I've worked with so many different clients and women are just so different from from one age to another or from one part of the country to the next. I can have a woman in my chair who says, I cannot leave the house without red lipstick on. Whether or not I feel that that may be the best look for her, I need to make her feel comfortable and beautiful. So I will find the right red lipstick shade for her. And for Brooke, she doesn't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I think she told me that she normally wears something like tinted moisturizer maybe every day and some mascara. So the type of eye that I'm doing on her is something very sparkly and glowing glowy and I'm keeping all the shades very neutral as you can see warm apricot nutmeg peach and on the lid there is a slight silvery lilac with a gold undertone now I'm curling the lash and sometimes I have to curl the lash twice on both sides because a lot of times even though the hair out of a client's head comes out curly the eyelashes are very straight and as you know from watching my YouTube videos for the last three to five years, if you're a loyal subscriber, I cannot let someone leave my chair without a pair of false eyelashes. I think false eyelashes are key to making your eyes really pop, especially in a photograph or for a special event.
Next, I'm gonna use a really light to medium coverage foundation all over Brooke's face. Now, she told me that she doesn't like a heavy foundation or base. So after applying the foundation with a firm, full foundation brush, I'm using a dual fiber brush to actually make it look a little bit more airbrushed and more lightweight on her skin. And then I'm using a small concealer brush to make sure that the foundation goes up into the hairline so there's no line of demarcation around the perimeters of her scalp. And then I'm using a very light, loose setting powder from Urban Decay, which is one of my favorites, and it has a silicone base which fills in fine lines and pores as well. Now on her brows, I'm using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. This is one of my favorite pieces. I've used it in many of my makeup tutorials. I find that applying too much brow product on somebody who doesn't normally wear makeup every single day is gonna make them feel very, very scary and overdone. Now on the lips, I'm using a really beautiful soft pink in a shade from a brand that I'm actually going to be giving to her. Every client that sits in my chair, I make sure that they have a lip product and a pressed powder to touch up with as the night goes on. Now once Hortensia has pulled out all of the pins, I go in and I make sure that the entire Entire look is set exactly how Brooke wants it. So I always sit down my client in front of the chair and I talk to her and I collaborate with her. As you can see, I'm letting her see where the shape is going. I'm giving her an option. Do we want to pull it back on the left side or not? Before she committed to whether or not she wanted it back or not, I said, why don't you get dressed and then think about it. Now I saw her needing a little bit of help with her shoe strap, so I jumped in to make sure that she had my help. Now she was dressed, so we got her back in the chair. We decided to smooth down the left side but not pin it back with pins. But I did use a strong hold hairspray so that it would stay in place. Now, one of the things that you have to keep in mind as a professional makeup and hair artist when you're getting a client ready like this, if you're getting them ready at two or three in the afternoon and the award show is between five and eight, and then they plan to go to dinner or an after party around nine or 10 or 11, you need to make sure that their hairstyle and their makeup is going to last for the next eight to 10 hours. So really make sure that you're using great products. Make sure that you're using the right hairspray. You don't want them to have a helmet on their head, but at the same time, you don't want it to be so fly away and loose that basically a gust of wind or just somebody breathing on them wrong is gonna completely change the look that you planned out and were hired to accomplish. So I have her watch me in the mirror. I make sure that she likes everything that's happening. And once her hair is basically done, I take a look at her body and I decide I want to soften out the tan line. There is a slight tan line. I did not pull out my liquid body makeup. I thought that a loose powder mineral bronzer would be perfect just to add a little bit of soft shine. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope appreciate it so much. Brooke, did you enjoy your time with me? You've been fabulous. Uh, thank you so much. We've gotta go. She's going to the Academy Awards. And if you would like your own private makeup tutorial, I offer those in my studio here in West Hollywood, or you can do this live over video conference. So check out my website. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will right now, today, by clicking on this link right down here at the bottom. I do two, sometimes three, pro makeup artist tutorials every single week. And like I said at the beginning, I work with women of all ages and all nationalities. So no matter who you are or where you live, you will find something that is interesting and informative on my channel. Please follow me on all social media at Matthias for Makeup. I tweet, I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Facebook, and everything else in between. I would love for you guys to come along on the ride. I also do live Q&A on Facebook every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys have any questions for me and you want to talk to me in real time, you can do that by following me on Facebook. And lastly, if anyone out there watching would like to book me for a personal one-on-one -on -one makeup lesson, there are two ways to do that. You can meet me in Los Angeles at my studio where I can teach you one-on-one, -on -one, or you can book me live over video conference from anywhere in the world without even ever leaving your home. So please go to MatthiasForMakeup.com and find out.